profile, we're here with MJ. He got first place with Marin Sess at our non-meta tournament today, and um, I'll just let him explain. All right. So um, it's a very control-based deck. It's a cyber stack. Uh, likes the link spam, link climb, and overall just makes a big, nice beat stick that is unaffected by stuff. Uh, so to start off with the deck, we have triple blue tank. She's your one of your main play starters. She's foolish burials, and she when she's linked off, she becomes a pot of duality for marine size cards. Uh, we got triple seahorse. She is really good. I like her at three. Uh, she what she does is she special summons to a marine size link zone, and then she can banish herself to special summon a water to a marine size link zone in graveyard. Next, we have Pascalus. She can when she's normal summon or special summon, she can special summon another marine size. Banish herself to add a Marine Cess card from Graveyard. Uh, I know this is kind of a little controversial for the Marine Cess. Uh, people like to run her at three to one to none. I preferably like two, and when I need a more uh, stuff from my side deck, I just take out one. She, uh, if you control two Marine Cess while this is in your hand or Graveyard, you can special summon her, and then she gets banished after that effect. Um, one of my end start, um, one of the end cards that I end with the combo is Silent Angler. He's more towards the end because he locks you out of your hand after you special summon him. Uh, my first play starter I like to go with is the Water Tenny Spirit. He just specs himself basically if you control nothing. Three Ash, of course. Three Ogre. I run two effect failures over infinite impermanence because. I run the Great Bubble Reef, and she draws one off of her effect, and I like to have a hand trap that is live in hand instead of infinite impermanence. One Battle Ocean. Three Sinai Mining, of course. Three Pot of Desires. Two Call by the Graves. I do want to run it at three. I'm just testing it with two. It does help against the Ash plays. Three Marine Cess Wave, plus that's also a better uh, option to Infinite Impermanence in this deck. And then I run three Dynamiscus. It's just a overall good trap card, and it also is another target to Special Summon a Toad. Moving on to the extra deck, we have Great Coral Bubble Reef. She, uh, what she does is basically, she's kind of like your big beater. What she does is she banishes um, Water Monster, gains 600 attack, and you can also discard a Water Monster to special summon one of those banished monsters. It's also nice because she also draws after the banishment of the first part. Marbled Rock, she is just a good recur. She also is, has a good battle effect and she also can be a main beater. Wonder Heart, she can special summon off of, or she, she's just a really good beater too. Uh, I prefer Great Coral Bubble Reef, uh, but she also is a good option. She likes to help um, get the equipped monsters off to your field from Battle Ocean. Access code talker, no say there. Trans code talker to make access code easier. And then I'm running two an enemy. I really like her because she is able to spam. She does lock you into waters, which is kind of crappy, but after she's sent away, she also recurs your marine test cards. Blue slug, I really enjoy her. She's also one of your main play starters off of Blue Tang or uh, Pascala. Splash Mage, just to get more link monsters out, easier to, or Cyrus monsters, easy to just link climb with them. I'm running the one Sea Angel for the one Battle Ocean. The one Crystal Heart for the Battle Ocean. Bahamut Shark to summon. Totally awesome. And then an Abyss Lawyer uh, just for another card. And now moving on to the side deck, we have three Nibiru, three Gamma Seals. Uh, we're running the Artifact Sanctum package. So we have one side, two Lancias, three Sanctums, and then three evenly matches. Cool. That should be all for the deck. Cool. Uh, so, um, uh, what are you? What are your uh, thoughts on this deck uh, in this format as a whole? Like, as a like for um, in like its matchups against like other like rogue decks in meta, I guess. Uh, I actually surprisingly have a good matchup against Dogmatica. I defeated my first Dogmatica after facing it a couple times, wondering how to figure it out. It does help with that Marine Test wave. It does shut down like um, the chick with the hammer and Alistair. Uh, it's just overall, it's just a control deck that it's very, once you learn the combos, you know the combos and you can start uh, going other ways into your combos to figure out and get around stuff. Uh, it's really grow, great going first turn and it's overall just really good at recurring and it's just a decent deck. 
Uh, well, thank you, MJ, for the deck, uh, and congratulations again for first place today. All right, thank you. Yep, you're welcome. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Uh, if you guys have any questions about MJ's deck, leave it down in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys in this video. Have a nice day.